Hi guys, Roll from Simple Wi-Fi here and today we are going to be testing antennas. Uh, a lot of people don't know this but a Simple Wi-Fi is actually a subsidiary of Antenna World located in Miami. We're an R&D lab, we design a lot of the antennas that you guys love. Uh, for example, today we have a directional 14 dBi panel and we're going to be testing it. We're going to be putting it through uh, what we go through all of our antennas, uh, whether it be cellular, Wi-Fi, microwave, uh, sectorials, all of our antennas that we approve that are true gain certified come through this chamber. And uh, the 14 dBi panel right now is set it on the, on the rotating motor. Uh, at the very end, we have a signal that's going to be beaming at the antenna. And as, while this antenna is spinning, we're going to be getting a pattern on our monitor showing exactly what the antenna is doing, where the antenna is pointing when it's turned on, and what kind of signal gain you can expect. All right, so we've got the 14 dBi panel set up, and we're going to be watching the monitor for the signal pattern to come through. What we're going to be looking for is a 14 dBi rating uh, between the minus 35 and the positive 36 down the middle of the screen in the monitor. Uh, this is going to be the main lobe of the antenna. So uh, this is going to be the furthest reaching point. Anywhere uh, inside the, the signal pattern that you see coming up, uh, these little side lobes, you are still going to get signal off to the side and maybe sometimes even directly behind it if you're close by. But right down the middle, uh, this far-reaching lobe, this is where you're going to get the most directionality of the antenna. Uh, this is what gets you the miles of range and uh, what's going to allow you to be further and further away from your hotspot or from whatever you're trying to do with the antenna. Uh, so long as you're inside one of these lobes, you can expect a good signal. Again, this is up to 14 dBi uh, between the minus 35 and positive 36. So that's why we say this has a 36 degree radiation cone. So now we're looking at a completed test result of the 14 dBi panel. And this is a top view of the signal. So if you were looking directly down at the antenna, uh, kind of zoomed all the way out, you're going to see how there's a big frontal lobe. And that's where you're going to get the most signal, the most signal strength. Uh, there's still some side lobes, like I mentioned before. Uh, but the main point of this antenna is to get directionality, to get reach. And what we're doing here is we're toggling between 2.40 gigahertz all the way up to 2.5. And you can see the slight variations depending on what exact frequency we're on. But for the most part, Wi-Fi is on 2.4 and you can see it stays very, uh, very similar. Okay, so now we're looking at the 14 dBi directional Yagi's that we've got set up in the chamber. And as you see, as the signal comes through on the monitor, we're going to be looking for a 14 dBi signal uh, between the minus 35 and the positive 36. This, was, this is what gives us a 36 degree wide radiation cone with a 14 dBi rating. So it's very directional. Again, just like the panel, very similar, just a different design. Uh, you can see the side lobes are slightly different. Instead of being uh, more rounded out like in the panel, these are more uh, shorter peaks in the Yagi. Uh, very similar to the panel, but again, just a different design and a very far-reaching great antenna. Okay, so now we're looking at a completed test result of the 14 dBi Yagi. Uh, same overhead view, and what we're looking for is a forward signal. So all the signal is being reshaped. Uh, out in front of it. So there is some leakage out to the to the sides and to the back like we mentioned before. Uh, if you're close enough to this antenna you can get some signal uh, in a 360 but this is really a directional antenna. We're looking for that far reaching frontal lobe where all the energy of the antenna is being forced out in front of it. That's what gives it the reach. And again we're toggling here between 2.40 all the way to 2.5 uh, showing the slight variations in frequency on the Wi-Fi band. All right, so we've got the 24 dBi parabolic grid set up. Uh, we're going to be looking for a seven degree wide radiation cone coming out the front of it. So the directionality of this antenna is fantastic, especially given uh, how affordable the antenna is. It's fairly big, uh, very directional, outdoor rated. Uh, it's excellent for trying to make wireless bridges, for using uh, the Wi-Fi repeaters that we sell. Uh, this is going to give you 
the best signal quality, the best bandwidth, as long as you got a great line of sight. So if you're trying to get somewhere far uh, and you have that line of sight, you have elevation, you have all those things, the parabolic Wi-Fi grid is where you want to go. Uh, very directional. It's like using a laser pointer to try to find signal. It's going to go further, but it's going to be spot on. If you're not within that signal pattern, you're not going to see any usable internet. Keep that in mind. Okay, so now we're looking at a top view of a completed radiation pattern for the 24 dBi parabolic grid. And I'm showing you this image just because we're trying to protect some of our intellectual property on the radiation patterns. But the idea here is to see how narrow and focused the frontal lobe of the directional grid is. Just 7.82 degrees wide. So all of this radiation, all this uh, energy is coming out of the antenna directly in front of it. Now, hardly anything is wasted out into the sides and nothing at all from behind it. It's all very focused out in front of it. Uh, this is why it's such a far-reaching antenna, why it does so well. Uh, it also is very difficult to aim, so if you're not within that radiation pattern of just 7.82 degrees, you're not going to see any signal. But the trade-off is very far-reaching, higher speeds, and much higher bandwidth.